Georgetown University's fall semester starts today, virtually, that is. They were one of the many colleges who reversed their original plans in late July after cases rose across the country. Joining us now, John DeJoya, president of Georgetown University. Jack, great to see you. Thank you for joining us. It's an honor to be here. Thank you. How difficult was this decision, and, and how do you think about sort of the longer-term uh, impact on the Georgetown community, particularly when you don't have first-year students uh, having the benefit of, right. of that sort of culture on campus? It's one of the great questions that we're, that we're engaged in right now. Our, our decision took place over the course of roughly two months. Um, we began our preparations back in April for this fall. But in early June, we made a decision that we, we would be able to reopen. We would need to do so monitoring carefully our pu the public health conditions here in this region. And we made a decision at that point that we we're going to try to bring back a good part of our community, our graduate students, our law students, our medical students, our research community. And we we're going to hold off the decision on undergraduates, just trying to determine what would be the, the right framework for bringing back undergraduates. We, we have a very dense, very, very rich uh, residential experience. Nearly 90% of our undergraduates live right here on the Georgetown campus. At the end of, of um, June, early July, we informed our undergraduates that we were going to bring back the first year students. We we're going to bring to campus our first year students and we'd hold off. We'd see how that how that would go before we would make a decision to bring, bring back any more. But as you were just describing, the accelerating pace of the spread of the virus through July made those plans impossible. At the end of July, we were looking at, at uncontrolled spread in nearly 30 states and restrictions on interstate travel. And as we looked at that, mm -hmm. the, the city of Washington made a decision that anyone coming from any of 27 states would be required to be quarantined for 14 days. And we estimated nearly half of the students we were bringing to campus would have to be in quarantine for those first two weeks. And we right. looked at just the conditions that we were wrestling with and how, the, how it was unfolding. And we made a decision that we would go fully virtual at the start of this year.